Hi everyone, I just woke up. I woke up like this, charot. And ganito ang face natin right now. And today, samahan niyo ko sa akin morning skincare din. Since ang last video natin is about nighttime skincare din. And so, i share ko sa inyo ang mga products na ginagamit ko during the day. So, let's go! Everyone, nandito na tayo sa CR. I'm just gonna show you first kung kamusta ang skin condition natin right now. So, yesterday, natulog ako ng 4 a.m. because nagtatrabaho na ako. So, meaning, matagal na akong matulog starting now. Even before, matagal na din ako matulog. But, what I noticed yesterday before ako matulog is that I have a big pimple right here. Which is, nakikita nyo pa rin nandyan. And then, meron din ako na feel na bump dito. So, um, for some other parts of my face naman is, wala naman masyadong mga pimple. Alam mo lang yun, yung mga, mga blackheads or mga whiteheads, yun ang mga meron ako. So, ilalagay ko kayo dito na side, no? Because if dito na side is, hindi nyo ako makikita. But anyway, during the morning, guys, my skin care routine is very, very, very simple. I will only use two to three products every morning, depending na lang kung nasa baba na ako. But right now, what I do is, nagihilamos ako during the morning, and I will use either the Celetec or the CeraVe. But I believe CeraVe is a good cleanser. And this is good for sensitive skin. So, yun ang ginagamit ko. You need to remember na since natulog lang kayo, hindi nadumihan ang face nyo during pagtutulog nyo. So, what you will be needing is a very little amount of cleanser. Ito lang ang ginamit ko ng cleanser. And I am using this CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Nabili ko siya sa Shopee, guys. I think it is around like 400 pesos. And um, usually, ang mga tinitinda nila is yung bottle na ganito kalalaki. And then, it's for a thousand. Sobrang mahal. So, yun din siguro ang reason kung bakit palagi akong nagsistick sa salate. Kasi mura lang siya. And I already like the product. So, bakit ko pa kailangan maghanap ng iba, right? So, yun ang ginagamit ko right now. Serum B during the morning. Um, and then I will massage my face. I will not be using my towel. I will not exfoliate since wala naman ding balat balat lately ang face ko, which is good. So I would say na parang na tolerate ko na talaga ang tretinoin because I've been using it since like last year or even 2019. But naputo lang siya. Kaya siguro bumalik ang pimples ko. So yun lang. Very simple yun ang paghihilamas na natin ko right now. Hello everyone! So tapos na tayong maghilamas, no? And okay, let's continue. Since I mentioned earlier na 2 to 3 products lang ang ginagamit ko, that is because pagkatapos ko maghilamos, kung nasa baba na ako, gumagamit lang ako ng sunscreen immediately. And ang pinaka ginagamit ko ngayon ng sunscreen is this one from Bello. This is the Bello SPF 40 sunscreen. And gusto ko siya because nagiging matcha sa face ko. But when I would want to add something else, I am adding a moisturizer into my face. This one. So, still the same, Celetec, because I actually have the product Cetaphil. Meron akong Cetaphil. Meron din akong binili na... Masa lang na ba yun? Oh, okay. So, meron akong dalawang moisturizer dito. Meron akong Cetaphil. Meron din akong CeraVe na moisturizer. Both of them, I use it, but both of them nag-break out of all just ko naman. So, how much more kung bumili ako ng malaking bottle nito, di ba? So, this is what I want to talk about in CeraVe. Kung gusto nyo mag-try ng product na to, you can try the trial pack or um, niripack nila because nagtitinda sila and it would cost you around 100-200 pesos only instead of buying it sa mga tag-1,000 pesos. So, that's why you can try because I realized na if nagu work sa iba talagang it's not a guarantee na magu work sa inyo. Especially like me, I noticed magkaparehas lang kasi ng consistency ang Cetaphil and CeraVe. Parang lotion type sila. And I realized na lotion type would be best for dry skin. So ang moisturizer na ginagamit ko is a gel type which is from the Celetec. And yun talaga ang mas nagustuhan ko. 
So, ganito kasi, ganito kasi siya. And I already have a review on this specific product. Maybe you can just look into my channel. And also, do not forget to like and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe para naman malaman nyo or ma-updated kayo kung kamusta ang, ang face natin. So, yun. Pagkatapos ko maglagay ng moisturizer is gagamit na tayo ng sunscreen. Hindi na ako medyo naghihintay kung, kung matutuyo pa ba to before ako maglagay ng sunscreen because um, I don't know. Siguro madali lang ako mag-skincare. Basta I want to make sure na maglalagay ako ng sunscreen. Since I am a tretinoin user and nagbabalat ang face ko, I really really need sunscreen. I'm not sure kung nanonotice nyo ba, but yung mga um, older age na gumagamit ng mga uh, rejuvenating, mga maxipil RDL is talagang nagsusunog ang balat nila. It was because maybe nakakalimutan nila maglagay ng sunscreen. And when you are a tretinoin user, you really really need sunscreen. Otherwise, magsusunog ang balat nyo. And I even cannot tell right now but maybe it could happen to me in the future. So that's why palagi ako nagsa sunscreen. And um, nagustuhan ko naman ang belo. Pag nilalagay ko siya is wala talaga siyang tingling sensation. When I was using Neutrogena na Ultra Sheer na sunscreen, talagang sumasakit ang mukha ko. When I am using this naman, when I am using this Skin Aqua naman, na meron na din akong review about this, nagkaka-pimple naman ako. And when I am using this sunscreen naman from CosRx, this one, when I am using this naman, parang mm, meron akong doubts because this has fragrance and this also has alcohol. But so far, ay, hindi naman ako nakapansin na talagang nakako siya ng breakout sa akin. So as you can see, kung inilalagay natin ang sunscreen ng Belo, medyo maputi ang mukha nyo. So that is the time na maghihintay muna kayo na mag-set ang sunscreen sa face nyo. Do not forget your neck as well. I-open muna natin because parang hindi parang hindi magda-dry or matuto yun. I will put on some sunscreen on my neck as well. And also, kung magsusuot naman kayo ng mga backless, of course, put something on your back as well. So, hihintay lang natin na matuyo siya. And then, that's it. That's already it. I will be going downstairs na later so I can start my day. <laughs> so, by the way, guys, um, since nandito naman ako, no, I just want to add up na we really cannot depend our skin condition based on the products that we will be using. The foods that we eat would greatly affect our skin condition as well. So, kung gusto nyo magkaroon ng clear skin, you should also check kung kumakain ba kayo ng mga pagkain or pinaprevent nyo ba ang mga pagkain na nakakakos ng acne. So, I've been guilty talaga na sobrang hirap sa akin na kumain ng healthy foods everyday, everyday, everyday because pare-parehas lang naman kami ng kinakain ng mga kapatid ko. And they tend to eat a lot of oily foods, mga sweets and for me talagang I don't know, maybe hindi ako masyadong <laughs> madisciplined sa self ko. Palagi kong sinasabi, ah, okay, I will just eat non-dairy next month, ganun. But then, I will end up eating a lot of sweets and dairy the next month. Because, yun na nga, wala tayo masyadong mga alternatives dito. And sobrang mahal kaya kumain ng mga very healthy foods. So, yeah, what we could do is just to lessen it and just make sure na kakain tayo ng mga gulay um, you will drink enough water and you will sleep enough although natulog ako ng 4am I, I need to make sure na at least 7 to 8 hours ang tulog ko which I already did but yun na nga, merong tumubo sa akin na pimple today this in here 
and then dito din na bump ito yung na feel ko last night so it was okay even though i am using tretinoin for quite some time now and i am under iso tretinoin nakakaroon pa rin ako ng pimples it's okay since uh, na control ko naman siya ang madami na lang is ang scars and the moment na mawawala na sila hindi na kayo mababother or hindi na ako mababother kung meron man akong kahit isang pimple lang. So, nag-dry na ang sunscreen onto my face and I'm actually done on my skincare. But since meron tayong pimple right now, ang ginagamit ko naman during the day sa acne ko is this OxyCure. I just um, reviewed this product and I said that this is effective. So, gagamitin natin siya and ilalagay ko dito sa isang pimple ko para at least um, no make sure na mag na siya or magda-dry na siya. So, very very little lang na product ang gagamitin. And then, yan, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing and that's it. Yan lang ang skincare routine natin every morning and do not forget to hydrate yourself. Drink a lot of water. And I will also just put some petroleum jelly on my lips. Since dito lang ako sa bahay, hindi na ako magme-makeup. The moment na hindi na ako nagme-makeup ng sobra-sobra is talagang napansin ko na nakahinga na ng maayos ang skin ko. Because, you know what? Before, when I was working in an office, talagang walang day, walang day ako na pinapalampas na walang foundation na sobrang kapal. But right now, I'm just happy na talagang napag-decisionan ko na, na hindi na mag-foundation mag masyado. Um, siguro pag lumalabas lang ako, I'm using a concealer or maybe BB cream. But apart from that, wala na ako masyadong makapal na makeup. Para at least naman, di ba, um, wala nang masyadong maraming products na nasa face ko. And yun lang mga products na ginagamit ko during the morning. And I just want to remind you guys na the more products na nilalagay nyo sa face nyo, the more chances na magka-irritate siya. So that is why a simple cleanser and a sunscreen in the day it's actually enough but if you want to add moisturizer kung siguro is nagbabalat ang face nyo that would be great and if you want to add things like vitamin c or benzoyl peroxide just make sure na hindi na kayo mag-a-add ng sobra-sobrang products para naman at least ang face nyo is hindi siya makonfuse sa lahat ng products na nilalagay niyo sa face nyo and eat healthy, drink more water, sleep well, and that's just gonna be my skincare in the morning. And I hope to see you again on my next video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!